गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द प्रीवियस टू चैप्टर्स प्रॉपरली नाउ इट्स टाइम टू बिगिन लेक्चर वन ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स क्लास एट विथ चैप्टर नंबर टेन विजुअलाइजिंग सॉलिड शेप्स स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव लर्न अबाउट टू डी शेप्स विच आर प्लेन फिगर्स एंड थ्री डी शेप्स विच आर सॉलिड फिगर्स देयर नेट्स नेट्स ऑफ नेट्स फॉर थ्री डी शेप्स how to draw 3d shapes on a flat surface in your previous class now in this class 8th we will recall 2d and 3d shapes we will identify and match the pictures with joint 2d shapes and joint 3d shapes we will visualize as the chapter name indicates visualizing solid shapes we will visualize the 3d objects from different angles such as front view top view and side view coming to the topics to be discussed in this lecture first is we will introduce i will introduce this lecture this uh, chapter to you that is visualizing solid shapes types of shapes or figures we will learn in this chapter examples of 2d and 3d shapes formation of 3d shapes how the 3d shapes are being formed views of 3d shapes how the 3d shapes or how can we visualize the 3d shapes from different angles now introduction part what are solids in mathematics we need to as the chapter name is visualizing solid shapes first of all we need to be clear what are solids in mathematics shapes everyone knows these are the figures which we deal like it can be triangle rectangle square cube sphere all these come under the category of shapes but there is a difference between 2d and 3d shapes and what are these solid shapes to understand solid shapes we should be aware about dimension so what do you mean by a dimension dimension is a measurable length along a direction dimensions are length breadth or height dimension is basically a measurable length which you can measure along a direction and it can be length breadth or width or height that is depth a point is dimensionless this all of you know that if i am making a point on a piece of paper then it has no dimensions so a point is dimensionless i am repeating it dimension is basically a measurable length which you can measure along a direction dimensions are length breadth or width or height or depth a point is dimensionless based on the number of dimensions a figure has there are one dimensional figures two dimensional figures and three dimensional figures and along with this we should be aware about volume what do you mean by volume volume is basically the measurement of total space occupied by a solid volume is the measurement of total space occupied by a solid how much space is being occupied by a particular solid that will be calculated by calculating its volume coming to area part area is the measurement of space enclosed by a closed geometrical figure like you must have seen a rectangle and definitely it has some area and we know the formula of area of rectangle that is length into breadth so that is the measurement of space enclosed by that particular geometrical figure which is a rectangle in this case so volume is the measurement of total space occupied by that solid how much space is being occupied by a particular solid and area is the measurement of space enclosed by a closed geometrical figure now coming to shapes and shapes or figures so we have one dimensional figures that is 1d that is one dimensions what are one dimension figures as the name indicates the figures only having one dimension figures having only one dimension so they do not enclose any area and have only one direction it can be a ray or a line segment so what are one dimensional figures the figures having only one dimension and they do not enclose any area and have only one direction a ray or a line segment comes under the category of one dimensional figures that is 1d one one dimensional d stands for dimensional one dimensionals 
then we have two dimensional figures basically how can we get two dimensional figures using one dimensional figures we can get two dimensional figures so they have an, an area and associated with them that is rectangle it is, is a two dimensional figure it has length as well as breadth square can also be a is a also a two dimensional figure it has also some area associated with it pentagon likewise pentagon hexagon octagon a circle all these come under the category of two dimensional figures or two dimensional shapes they have length and breadth or width definitely it has two dimensions that is why they are two dimensional figures they are usually plain figures like squares rectangles triangles and circles so what are two dimensional figures the figures or the shapes having only two dimensions it can be length and breadth or width and they have an area associated with them they can be they are usually plain figures like squares rectangles triangles circles pentagon hexagon octagon likewise you can take more examples like i have seen the seen you the examples rectangle circle and triangle so one dimensional figures they do not have any area associated with them they can be used to make two dimensional figures two dimensional figures they have an area associated with them which has two uh, dimensions like uh, like length and breadth or width now coming to three dimensional figures or shapes three dimensional shapes or figures can be made using two dimensional figures i can stack the two dimensional figures either linearly or in a circular manner to get the three dimensional shapes it will be more clear to you later on in the pre, uh, further slides so first of all understand what are three dimensional shapes 3d it must be having three dimensions d stands for dimensions shapes which can be measured in three directions are called three dimensional shapes these shapes are called solid shapes so here what do you mean by solid shapes three dimensional shapes are the solid shapes and in this chapter we need to visualize three dimensional shapes or three dimensional figures or three dimensional objects so length width and height or depth or thickness height can be or de depth or thickness are their dimensions so three dimensional shapes how we will get it by stacking the two dimensional figures or the shapes in linear fashion or in linear manner or in a circular manner <clears throat> these shapes which can be measured in three directions are called three dimensional shapes obviously three dimensions should be there these shapes are also called solid shapes so here as the name of the chapter is visualizing solid shapes so we will deal with three dimensional shapes three dimensional figures in this chapter we will recall we have recalled two dimensional and three dimensional shapes we will identify and match the pictures with joint 2d shapes and joint 3d shapes we will visualize the 3d objects from different angles in this chapter so our basic aim is to learn more about three dimensional shapes and three dimensional shapes are formed using two dimensional shapes two dimensional shapes are formed using one dimensional shape one dimensional figure or one dimensional shape so length width and height or depth or thickness are their dimensions examples can be cube cylinder cone cuboid spheres etc you can see cuboid and cube these are the three dimensional shapes because it has length breadth and height more examples can be hexagonal prism it is also a three dimensional shape sphere cylinder cone these are the examples which are the uh, examples of three dimensional shapes the more examples a number of examples can be found in everyday life some of them i have tried to show few of them here uh, in this slide first one is rubik's cube you must have seen or you must have used it and next one is drum then it can be a birthday cap also then it, you can uh, look it uh, as a cone inverted cone or it can be a birthday cap and uh, last one is the orange which you uh, eat normally in your daily life and uh, the another example you can take is the room in which you are sitting is an example of three dimension it has length breadth and height or the laptop screen which you are looking at 
is also an example of three dimensional figures so likewise in our vis uh, vicinity vicinity we see several objects or several 3d objects now the 2d shapes and 3d shapes shown above are single but in our vicinity we see several objects which are the combinations of different shapes it can be so that uh, the objects which i am looking around can be a combination of 2d and 3d shapes let us take the example a window and a photo frame this is a window this is a photo frame here in the above figures we can see the combination of different shapes 2d and 3d shapes like a window in a window rectangle is surmounted by a triangle a photo frame in a photo frame photo frame is the combination of two rectangles forming a rectangular path now how these solid shapes are being formed as i told you earlier also to make solid shapes what are solid shapes three dimensional figures or three dimensional shapes are called solid shapes and which have uh, which has three dimensions that is length breadth or height and how they can be formed stacking of two dimensional figures results in solid shapes for example linear stacking of circles forms the solid shape called cylinder likewise if you will keep on stacking the circle in linear manner then you will be able to get a cylinder so stacking of two dimensional figures results in solid shapes solids are three dimensional shapes linear stacking of the circles forms the solid shape called cylinder if i will keep on stacking the circle i will be able to get a cylinder another example can be of a solid cuboid how solid cuboid can be formed a cuboid is a solid bounded by six rectangular plane regions and we know that rectangle is a 2d shape so again this is a, a cuboid is a three dimensional shape and so this uh, cuboid is a solid bounded by six rectangular plane regions it is also formed by stacking rectangles linearly like if i will keep on stacking the rectangles linearly then you can imagine this also then you will be able to get a cuboid i hope with these two examples you have understood how we can stack 2d objects or 2d shapes to get 3d objects or 3d 3d shapes like in case of if i if i will keep on stacking the circle uh, circle then i will be able to get a cylinder like here in this case if i will keep on uh, stacking the rectangles linearly then i will be able to get a solid cuboid solid cuboid that is a three dimensional cuboid now perspectives of looking at a solid now these solids solid objects if they are being looked from different angles or different views their views will be different like in the previous class also you must have learned that 3d objects can have different looks from different positions so they can be drawn from different perspectives and when we see at a solid object it is not necessary that whole solid object can be seen from one position the view of the solid depends upon the position from where it is seen that is when we see at a solid object it is not necessary that whole solid object can be seen from one position the view of the solid depends upon the position from where it is seen so we can say that a solid can be seen from different angles having different looks like it can be seen from the front side or top any 3d object when viewed from different positions might appear different few examples can be i have tried to show you a few examples first one can be look at the different views of a glass from different positions if this is the glass and if i will look at this glass from the top then i will be able to see a circle this is the third figure if i will be uh, looking at this glass from the side then this second figure will be your side view so when we see at a solid object it is not necessary that whole solid object can be seen from one position the view of the solid depends upon the position from where it is seen it can be seen from the front side or top so in this chapter we need to deal with the different perspectives of 3d objects it can be viewed from the uh, front it can be viewed from the side it can be viewed from the top so we need to show the front view side view or 
top view. Looking at different views of solid made of four cuboids. Here, this is the figure made of four cubes, cuboids. Then, what will be the side view of this? The side view will be two rectangles. Side view will be two rectangles. So, uh, side in the side view, we have made two rectangles. Front view is the three rectangles. Top view will give you three rectangles and one at the back that will be four rectangles. You can take it this solid as a uh, cuboid or it can be a cube also. So likewise if it is a cuboid then it can be a rectangle all the side view front view and the top view will have rectangles if it is a cube then it will be having squares looking at this dice you must have used it in playing ludo or any other game then what will be the top view side view and front view of this so front view obviously if i am looking at this uh, from the arrow with the, which indicates the front view from this side then it will be uh, it will have three dots side view it will have one dot and top view obviously will, it will have two dots it is quite clear in this figure coming to fourth example in this example front view side view and top view if i am looking uh, at this figure from the top view then these two rectangles will be shown to you it is clearly mentioned in the figure what are from where you need to see the figure from the top from where uh, uh, do you need to see the figure uh, from the side and the front view likewise then in the side view you will be having these two figures and front view will be having as shown in the above figure that is clearly mentioned from the top side and front view so here Homework from the NCRT, exercise 10.1, you are supposed to complete question number 1, 2, 3 in the book and question number 4 in homework notebook. In question number 4, you are supposed to make the different views of 3D objects given in the question. So, question number 1, 2, 3, you are supposed to do in the book. Question number 4 is to be done in the homework notebook. So, we have learnt in this chapter that we have recalled first of all we have recalled about 2d and 3d shapes we have tried to visualize the 3d objects from different angles such as front view top view and side view we have learned about the dimensions what are dimensions and uh, dimension is basically a measurable length along a direction then we have learnt about um, 1D, that is one dimensional objects, two dimensional objects, three dimensional objects. And uh, we have tried to look how we can form three dimensional objects from two dimensional objects by stacking them in a linear manner or in a circular manner. And then we have learnt at the end how to visualize the 3D objects from different angles such as front view, top view and side, uh, side view. I hope all these concepts are clear to you and on the basis of the concepts discussed here in this lecture, you will be able to solve these questions. Thank you so much.